Six games into its season and the Butte Central boys are sitting at a perfect 6-0. And in their most recent contest against crosstown rival Butte High, the Maroons put together their most convincing performance yet. But Central is gunning for a repeat trip to the state tournament and the Maroons hope they're just getting started. Uh, I think it gave us a lot of momentum coming back into the third quarter to really take over and extend that lead a little bit. Bryson Sesterch's halftime buzzer beater lifted Central to a double-digit lead over the Bulldogs. The Maroons rolled from there and posted a 65-37 win for their second straight victory against Butte. Earning that big win was great, but getting to renew their rivalry with the Bulldogs was already a meaningful experience. It was awesome because that was the first time all of us have played in a crosstown game, so it was awesome getting to play in it. I think we all were looking forward to it. Those guys are our friends, so having bragging rights will be awesome, but it was just a fun game to play. Peoples and Sestrich combined for eight three-pointers as the Maroons wrapped up a busy pre-Christmas schedule. But it was our fourth game in eight days, too, though. We were kind of nursing some injuries and just, you know, had some guys sitting out of practice a little bit those days leading up to the game, so... You know, actually, it's good that we got some, some time to heal up over the break here. But now Central has bigger fish to fry. The 2020 champions are looking to return to the state tournament where last year they came up one game short of the consolation final. The desire to still be playing basketball in March should provide plenty of motivation as the Maroons get back to the grind. Playing in state was just fun. The atmosphere there is great, and I'm thinking, though, everyone on this team is just ready to get back there. It's just a great, great thing to be a part of. In Butte, Luke Shelton, MTN Sports.